Hello and welcome back to Oryx Garage. My name is Kai and this is my 2017 Toyota Tacoma. In today's video we're going to be installing extended brake lines. These ones here on the rear axle. These ones are from Headstrong Off-Road. And we will be replacing the stock brake lines. Right over here. One over here, one over there. Uh, both of them will be replaced. We'll have to disconnect them at the top. And same thing at the bottom here. And then screw in the new ones. There's some clips behind here that need to be taken out. We'll show you that whole process. Please note, I'm not a licensed mechanic or an engineer. I just want to share some information that I've learned and show how I take care of my truck. So as we can see here, when we lift up when the axle droops, the brake lines, get it stretched out and this is not yet at full droop and you can really see the angle here that the brake line is at it's and that just puts wear on this line so we extend it the ones that i have will extend it by four inches so that will give this a little bit more flexibility so it doesn't wear out We'll go ahead and lower it back down and then we'll get started. Okay, so to start, we'll start by loosening the 10 millimeter flange nuts at the top. go we've got those loosened so we can start to see some brake fluid coming out so now we'll go ahead and remove the clips and we'll try it with the go we've got one out takes a little while to figure out how best you can get in there to work through them <clears throat> And there we go, got the second one off. 
now we want to have our new brake lines ready so that when we take off the and so when we take off the old brake line we can thread on the new one and try not to lose too much brake fluid. So these will fit through here now. We'll start with the back one. That one goes to the passenger side. to the new one. That one's just hand tightened for now. And we can go ahead here and see the difference in the length of the brake lines. Go ahead and loosen the one at the bottom here so we can do one at a time. Go. The old brake line is out. Now we can bring the new one in. Thread it back in here. All good. Here we can see a good comparison of the old brake line versus the new one. So this one is about four inches longer. That's one done. You can do the same thing with the other one. Start by loosening the old one at the top. Good. Bring the new one in. Start threading it on. Keep it up high. Bottom 
take out the clip. The best way I found to do it is to grab it with a white piece of pair of pliers and wiggle it up and out. Loosen it, old one comes out, new one comes in. Thread it on by hand. Yeah, good to go. Good. Threaded them all hand tight. Now we can go ahead and put in the new clips. So these are the old OEM clips. And these are the new ones. They should be a lot easier to remove if we ever have to again. And just slide it in over the, the back brake line. Easy way to install them is to grab them at the top and slide them onto Now the new brake lines are in place. Now we just need to tighten up the nuts on the back. tightened up. Now we need to bleed the brakes. First we'll spray everything off with a little bit of brake cleaner so that the brake fluid doesn't burn through the paint. Now we have our new brake lines in. I'm gonna lift it up and see how they flex. Okay, so now the rear tire is slightly off the ground. And we can see now we still have plenty of movement left in these lines. They're not overextended. This still has enough space, and we're all good. Next up, we'll need to bleed the brakes. So what we'll do, we'll come in here, take off this little cap here. It exposes this little flange there and we'll put our little hose on it and then we need to just loosen it a little bit and we'll allow the brake fluid to come out of there and then we'll pump it until any air bubbles are fully out of the system. Attach our little hose and then we'll use the 10 millimeter wrench again and we need to 
open up. And then we see we have some fluid coming out. This side is done. We've got the cover back on. We'll spray it down with some brake fluid and go over to the other side. So now what we need to do, we need to take off this little cap here, which exposes a little bleeder valve. Put a little hose on here. Use our 10 millimeter to loosen up this bolt until some fluid comes out. Doesn't take a lot. There we go. On there. And then we can pump the brakes a little bit, make sure that it all comes out, all the air comes out. And there we go. It's all good. We can go ahead and tighten that back up. There we go. All nice and tight again. We'll put our rubber cover back on. And then just spray it down a little bit with some brake cleaner. Make sure none of the paint or anything corrodes. And now we can come in here. You can see our brake fluid is a little bit low, so we can just top that up. That's all good. Clean up a little bit around the side. go. All is good. Level is right back where it should be. And we're all done. Okay, we just got back from our test drive. The brakes are working perfectly fine. Everything is good. That'll wrap up the video for today. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Get out there and explore, but don't forget to trade lightly. Cheers.